Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do um, October favorites. I hope it's not too late for that. Um, but I've been gone for maybe like two weeks now. Um, the last time I made a video was about two weeks ago. So um, I just wanted to do October favorites, like quick video on my beauty products that I've recently been loving all October. Um, and also if you like this um, eye look, I will do a tutorial on that if you guys, if I have a lot of likes, um, just thumbs up if you guys want this orangey fall kind of copper kind of smoky eye. Um, well we're going to go straight into it and I am going to talk about uh, my favorite foundation at the moment. Um, I've been loving this L'Oreal True Match and I do love this foundation but also I was looking at the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and um, if you want a light to medium coverage I would recommend this. Um, also if you, you have dry skin I would recommend this because it does give you like a dewy look. Um, so this is more for people with dry skin. Um, so those days I'm dry, then I will wear this one. And those days that I'm oily, I will wear this one because it gives you a matte finish. Um, this is more for oily skin. So what I do is I combine these two to balance out, to give me that natural glow but not make me too oily. So that's why I combine these two. And it's been, I, I love these two together you know since this is for more dry skin and I do get dry skin um, sometimes so it works great because I have kind of combination skin I have oily and dry skin so um, I combine these two and they're great and I really love these two um, and this also this is more of a medium to full coverage um, this foundation this is more of a light to medium coverage um, so both of them it kind of gives me a medium coverage full coverage foundation um, and then also since we're on to the face, I'll just do face products first. Um, I've also been loving this Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette. And if you guys don't know what it is, it has, um, a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And I loved all, I love all these. This gives me kind of like a rosy kind of color and I kind of have it on my cheeks right now if you can see that. Um, and this is more of like a pinky champagne color. And this um, bronzer, it gives you more of like a, um, it's an all over bronze. Um, it works on any skin tone um, and it just works with your skin color. So if you, you would put this more on a darker person darkest skin girl um, it would just work with your skin um, it might look light but it works on any skin tone um, and I'm wearing it right now if you can tell um, so I've been really really been loving this Naked Urban Decay Flush Palette and another bronzer which is more of a drugstore bronzer is this Maybelline Dream Sun bronze and powder and this is also a matte powder um, so it has no shimmer in it I honestly for my bronzers I don't like any shimmer in my bronzer so oops I don't like any shimmer in my bronzer so I really like it um, they also ha come in different shades I got mine to medium so they have a light um, a light bronzer, a medium and a dark bronzer and I think it's only three shades um, this bronzer, I feel like it's a little bit too light for my color. It doesn't kind of give me that really, it doesn't really, um, what am I trying to say? I can't really swatch it right now. But, um, yeah, it's not swatching. But, um, I really love this bronzer, but I think I might get a deep, um, a darker color just because I feel like it doesn't bronze me up to, like the way I like to be bronzed up so that's that and this is the Maybelline Dream Sun Bronze and Powder Matte 
that's a, a long name. Um, also, another drugstore product, and this is the Milani um, baked powder blush, and this is in Dolce, Dolce Pink, and um, I really love this bronzer. It does have shimmer, like gold shimmer in it, so it does give you kind of a glow um, on your cheeks, which I do like. So if I, I'm wearing a blush, I do like that, you know, the blush does have shimmer, but if you don't, you probably won't like this, but it does have gold shimmer in it. And this is Dolce Pink. Another face product, since we're just on face, I'm just going to go down. Another face product is this concealer, and this is the NYX, 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 NYX HD Concealer, and um, they have a couple of shades in this. I got mine's a medium. I think I'm going to get a light. Um, I am wearing it now, but um, I do like this concealer, but I feel like it's a little too dark for me, so I might get a light. Um, so, that's that, and this is, um, NYX HD Concealer, I really love this concealer, it does give you full coverage, um, gives you full coverage, also gives you kind of like a highlight glow, so, um, if you like your concealers to kind of give you a highlight, it also has a highlight kind of thing going on, and, um, I really love this concealer. I've been wearing it every day, and I just really love this concealer. Did I say that three times? Okay. And then we're going to go to eyes, because I have two eye products. And I'm going to be starting off with a liquid liner, and that's what I'm having on my on my upper lash line. Whatever. Um, this is the Fish, this Physician Formula. Um eye booster, eyeliner, liquid liner. Um, supposedly it gives you fuller lashes in two weeks or something. I don't know. I can't I can't tell you yes or no because I don't really know a difference. Um, but I do love this um, eyeliner. It's supposed to be like a two in one. It's supposed to make your eyelashes look longer in two weeks and also a eyeliner at the same time. It's like a two-in-one thing. Um, but I do love this eyeliner. It does stay matte. It stays all day. I really love this eyeliner. And the tip is like that. It's like kind of like those markers and you shake it. And it's the... I really like this because it, it is like a really small tip for so I can make my wings. So I really love that. Um... I had this maybe for two, three weeks, and it hasn't dried out because a lot of liquid eyeliners that go in a pen like this, it does. I feel like it's. I feel like the eyeliner that are in pens dry out faster. I don't know if that's only me, but I feel like it dries out faster. But this one, it's been fine for me. It hasn't dried out or anything, and it's really, really black. I have it on my. Uh, winged, whatever. Um, so, a next thing, next product for the eyes, or lashes, I should say, is this new mascara. I do use, um, usually use, um, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Excess, and I do love this mascara. I do wear, as you guys know, if you don't know, I do wear three, four mascaras at a time. Um, I just like how my lashes look and stuff like that. So I do use four mascaras and I do love this brush. This brush is amazing. I love this mascara and I still use it. Use it. Use it. I can't talk today. Um, I still use it. But I am going to get another one because it's kind of drying it out. Dry, drying it out. Really, I can't talk. Um, so I really, really love this mascara. Um, but I also started trying out this Revel, Revlon, Revel, Revlon Lash Potion Mascara. And the brush is kind of like, I don't know, it's like kind of small. Um, but it's a big brush and 
I love how my lashes look. Um, it, it gives me volume, it gives me length, um, and it does exactly what it says. I love this mascara, so guys, check it out. Um, so I have two full colors, since it is full. I have two full colors, and I love this Maybelline, aren't these the Maybelline Vivid? Um, the Maybelline Vivid in Hot Plum, and the color, let me swatch it. I was wearing this earlier, but I switched. It is like this really, really deep. Let me swatch it maybe a couple times. It's like this deep purple pink. Um, it's like a purpley pink. Um, it's like a plum color. Exactly what it says, hot plum. Um, I really, really love this color. Um, and this is more of like a vampy kind of lip. This is kind of what's in in for fall. The makeup trend is this kind of like deep purple ish. And I really love this color. I was wearing it the other day and everyone loved it and I really really love this. And this is Milani's Sangria. And I really love this. So if you've been looking for fall colors you need to get these and one more thing which is a brush and this is the Real Techniques pointed foundation brush I don't use this for foundation because this is a really small brush um, but I what I do use this for is I use it for concealer so um, if I have liquid concealer or whatever I just pack it on and I just dab it on like that and I love the finish it gives me um, it gives me like a flawless finish and I really love this for concealer and I also set powder with this too so I like this for concealer and setting powder and I really really love this um, you can also use this for a highlighter if you want to do that but I really love this and it gives me a flawless finish and it's just an amazing brush, amazing brush. Um, so that's it for my October favorites, and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe or like this video if you guys want this kind of like full orangey kind of the orangey smoky eye or something. Um, it's like a copper orange smoky eye um but if you guys do want that tutorial up then just please thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video um don't forget to subscribe and also i'll put the products down below so i will see you guys in my next video bye